Hello and welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. So in this video, we'll be showing you how you can build yourself this cool little moving flame electronic candle just like this one. So as you can see, I have laid out the schematic of the circuit and it's very simple to make. The only most difficult part in this project is to have yourself a 3D printer and print all the enclosure and the flame part right here. So let's see how this circuit works. The brains of the project is this 80 tiny 85 microcontroller which triggers this MOSFET which in turn triggers this coil. This coil actually is the electromagnet. When this electromagnet is energized, you can see I have, this is the flame right here. So I have attached a small little nut uh, with super glue. This uh, electromagnet does, then pulls on this uh, nut and this flame will move. So this is the basic concept of the circuit but uh, to make it or to improve it a little better we have introduced this microcontroller and as you can see uh, in the start of this video if you light up a flame or match in, in the top of the uh, in, in the top of the candle that is uh, that light is sensed by this LDR sensor which is right here and then it uh, tells the microcontroller to turn this candle uh, on or light this candle on uh, and when you blow the microphone sensor picks up the noise and it tells the microcontroller to turn the candle off so that is two more features that we've added in this uh, little project Finally, we have this diode and this uh, battery. Uh, this is because when this coil gets energized, it consumes a huge amount of current. That's why the voltage becomes close to zero and the microcontroller shuts down. Now, if that happens, it cannot execute the next uh, instruction and it, and it will go to a loop where your system will get destabilized so to, to prevent that I have put in a diode and a capacitor near to the microcontroller which is right here as you can see this diode also prevents uh, this circuit from EMI and EMF that is generated by this coil this capacitor this 680 microfarad capacitor is enough to store some voltages uh, and drive this microcontroller for a few fraction of a second until this shuts off and this makes the system very stable otherwise you will get that jittering action uh, in this circuit and we also have this slider switch to turn on and turn off the circuit and as you can see we have this uh, wire this is where the candle sits the flame of the candle or this thing i have 3d printed it this sits if i put this in so if i put this in right like this so as you can see it will it will placed on here and if i turn on this circuit as you can see the flame moves So this is basically how the circuit works and this is a very simple circuit and this is how the circuit works and it looks pretty cool when it's in the dark. So I hope you like the video, learn something new and enjoy it. See you on the next project. Bye bye.